Question 51. Practice test 2. If the length L of a rectangle is 3 cm more than twice its width, W, then the relation between L and W is... Uh, Alright. So, since it says rectangle, let's draw a little rectangle and see what it might look like. The width. Oh. It's three centimeters more. Alright. They have a different interpretation of the rectangle. The height is greater than the width. So this is the width. The width is here. Alright. The height now. What they're saying. Let me just remove this. What they're saying is that the length, oh, this is the length, the length, not height. I said height earlier. The length L is three times, it's three centimeters more than twice its width. So if you twice the width, you get 2W. Three centimeters more, it means you add three centimeters to it. 3 centimeters more than twice the width then the relation between L and W is uh, so the length is equal to 2W plus 3 see seems B so 51 is B question 51 B right so the length 2 W, 2 centimeters, 3 centimeters more than twice its width. It could be, for example, if the width was 10 centimeters, the length twice 10 is 20. And if you measure something 20 and another 23, the 23 one is 3 centimeters more. So you add 3 centimeters to it. So that's question 51. What about question 52? Oh, 52 is all the way up here. Big question. We have to zoom out to see 52. We zoom out to see all of 52. Now, it says the diagram above is below. Right? The diagram is below. So the diagram shows a circle with center O, a line ON is drawn perpendicular to AB. So the center is O, I have O, N, drawn 90 degrees perpendicular to A, B. O, A is 10, so this is 10, and A, B is 16, the length in centimeter of O, N is The length in centimeter of O N. All right. So basically, if you have A to B and O N, N is halfway between A and B. You see the fact that O N comes at ninety degrees. So you have eight centimeters. As from here to here is 8, alright? I'm just transferring this over here. B would be here. This is N going straight up and then to O. Now if this is 10 centimeters from O to A, is the radius of the same circle OB, so this must be 10. So you want this line. Now if you remember that 
when you have um, the size of a triangle in the ratio 3 to 4 to 5 it's a right angle triangle this here is 2 by 4 and this is 2 by 5 so this must be 2 by 3 the third side will be 2 by 3 which is 6 but anyway if you don't remember that what you could do is just use Pythagoras theorem straight now the hypotenuse is 10 so another side couldn't be 10 can't be this alright so D is out from the beginning if you use Pythagoras theorem call this Y then you say Pythagoras theorem states that the hypotenuse square is equal to one of the side square plus the other side square so 100 is really y square plus 8864 when you plus this should be plus so if you subtract 64 from both sides you get 100 minus 64 is equal to y square if I subtract 64 here and subtract 64 here 100 minus 64 is what? That's 36. So y squared is 36. What do you square to get 36? Y must be 6. Alright, so in any case, 52 is B. So question 52 is B. Alright. Let's look at question 53. Question 53. The gradient of the line PQ is. Alright. If you're going from left to right and you have to be climbing down the line, you're here. This is you. And you are going down. Then this line has a positive gradient. If you are climbing up the line, it would have no. If you're going down, it has a negative gradient. If you're climbing up the line, it would have a positive gradient. All right. So there's a negative gradient here. It's not A nor B. These are out. It's either C or D. Now the rise over run between one end and the other. Right between P and Q. The rise. Is from 0 to 6 that's 6 over the run it runs from 0 to this would be 3 3 so 6 over 3 is 2 and then the negative makes it a negative 2 so question 53 is C alright question 53 C What about question 54? We can zoom question 54 in a bit closer. Question 54 says you have 4x plus 8. 4x plus 8 over 2 is equal to let's see for x plus 8 what is it equal to or over 2 what is it equal to if you should factorize the top you have 2 outside the bracket and x plus let me write the 2 properly 2 outside the bracket x plus 4 inside the bracket all over 2 so 2 would cancel 2 all right so for x plus 8 over 2 oh 2 x plus 4 I mean oh my mistake I had written 2x 
instead of 4x so let's do that again 4 outside the bracket inside the bracket 4 times this gives you 4x this would have to be x 4 times this gives you 8 this would have to be 2 all over 2 and the cancel down 22 1 24 2 well you'd have to multiply again multiply out the bracket again because there's no bracket here you have to remove the bracket so when you multiply 2x plus 2 2 4 you get 2x plus 4 it is suggesting that the answer is B so question 54 is B now one mistake some people might make is to say 4x plus 8 over 2 22 1 24 2 so the answer is 2x plus 8 that would be incorrect all right remember what this line means it's like a bracket it's saying 4x plus 8 all divided by 2 all right in other words if you have 4x over 2 plus 8 over 2 and you draw the line and find the LCM 2 into 2 goes 1 time 1 by 4x is 4x plus 2 into 2 goes 1 time 1 by 8 is 8 so 4x plus 8 all over 2 is the same as 4x over 2 plus 8 over 2 if you should factor them like this 2 into 2 1 2 into 4 2 so this is 2x plus 2 into 2 1 2 into 8 4 plus 4 is 2x plus 4 now this 2x plus 4 if you should factor out 2 from it what you would have is 2 outside the bracket and then 2 into 4x in other words 2 times this would give you 4x you're going to be 2x plus 2 times this would give you 8 it is 4 all right so you'll get this 2x plus 4 when you divide because 2 into 2 1 2 into 2 1 so it's 2x plus 4 so um, what we do we'll take a break at this time and move on next time